Hello everybody, this is Teresa from To Dazzle Plans. Welcome. Today I'm going to be doing a tutorial. Oh, here comes the cat. <laughs> She's very loud today. Um, a tutorial that was requested by one of my viewers and I just want to say I greatly appreciate all comments and um, requests and I will always do my best to um, do a tutorial that's requested or anything that's requested, I'll do my best. So this viewer, and I'm sorry, I, for, I was going to look up the name before I started and I forgot, but anyway, sorry. Um, but she requested, um, she wanted to know how I did my vellums that I had shown. So I'm going to do two different ones. So this is what I use, um, for my vellums. Um, the first thing is just uh, regular uh, translucent tracing paper, vellum paper. Um, it's 100, <clears throat> excuse me, GSM. So you can write on it if you want to, draw on it, whatever, or you can print on it. Excuse me, still drinking my morning coffee. And then I use cardstock. And this is just, I think, Walmart. I'm pretty sure Walmart. Um, 110 pound weight, Heart, just plain basic white cardstock, nothing fancy. So we're going to do the first one. I'm going to go ahead and take out one piece of vellum from this pack. And I got this on um, Amazon. I will link it in the description. Um, they also have colored vellum, which I'm going to try soon. I'm really enjoying doing some of these. Oh, cat. She's just so annoying today. Um, it's not my cat, it's my son's cat, but she, it, or, yeah, she the cat is wanting some attention and he is going to death, so there's that. So one piece of cardstock, one piece of vellum, I'm going to set those to the side. <clears throat> I'm going to make this first one is going to go in my budgeting planner, which is a big happy planner. So I'm going to be able to use the whole uh, size um, with no cutting, which I do prefer because I am, I'm just going to say it, I'm not the best cutter out there. Okay, now I've gone over to Canva where we're going to get a graphic and I also already got some quotes off of Google. They are in my um, photos. This is on my regular photos. These are the cute little um, designs that my son made for me. So these are the ones that I have to choose from. Budgets. Um, I really like this one. So I took it and um, I filled up the whole 8.5 by 10 or Nine, eight and a half by 11 page and now I'm going through and seeing if I want to change any of the colors um, I'm just showing you several different colors that you can go with <clears throat> and then I went back to the original um, because I didn't think I wanted to change the color and now we need to look for a graphic to go. This this slow progress is still pro. Sorry, progress. We'll go on the vellum, and now I'm looking for a graphic to go on the cardstock, so it will show through. Um, I probably look way longer than I need to here. I should have picked something out ahead of time because it makes the video really long. Um, I'm trying, I have shortened it quite a bit, um, and I did speed this up, so now I'm just trying to find something to go underneath the quote. Still looking, looking, looking. <laughs> this is not the professional Canva, it's the free version. Um, so I tried this, I make it big and then I realized I don't want words under words. 
um, because that's just not going to work. Um, and I put it up there and then I'm like, oh yeah, you don't want to do that. So I go ahead and, um, delete that and continue looking. And I wish I could speed this part up, but I've already sped up this part of the video. I'm just looking, looking. So sorry it's taking so long to find that. I finally switched to financial freedom and photos, and I find this photo, and it's perfect. Um, but I look at the colors, and I'm like, I need to change the colors. So I go back over and look at the colors. I don't want color underneath and color, you know, the blue and the blue or the pink and the blue. That's going to ruin the underneath um, version. And so I'm just waiting uh, or just trying a bunch of different things. And I'm like, okay, I'm going to need to do um, probably black, um, with no background color in it and I choose this gray and it does have a slight gray background in it um, but it works out so then I'm gonna print and I take the vellum and the cardstock over to the printer and put them in with the vellum to print first and then the cardstock and so I am printing now we're setting up my printer and I'm printing and so we're just waiting for that to print um so waiting 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 <laughs> it does take a little bit to print on my printer I don't have an expensive printer so there's absolutely um no reason to buy an expensive printer to do these graphs so now I'm going to do a single, um, and I'm going, I've put my, um, my measurements at, um, six and I think it's six and a half by nine, which is classic size happy planner. And I'm just going to do a single page to go over, um, one of the have dividers. But then I realized that my dividers are not attractive, so I'm not going to use that. And that's fine, but um, we are going to print out a, a vellum that can be used in a classic Happy Planner. Um, you can do cardstock under it again if you wish, or you can... Um, Put it over any divider, a colored piece of cardstock works really well. Um, let's see what else. Pretty much anything. Acetate if you have it. Um, here I'm showing you how to remove the watermark if you want to use a professional um photo one of the professional photos is a dollar 99 i think for all of them or at least most of them so that's what i just showed but i'm going to use this free one i think it's super pretty um the colors are um not showing up on here the best they're muted purple pink and then a dark dark gray so then i'm going to go set that up in my printer so that's going to print on the vellum and um, okay so here is our first picture on the cardstock came out beautiful I love it I hope that you guys love it too um, and like I said my printer is not super expensive it was less than fifty dollars at walmart and now i laid the vellum on top of it and you can see how great it turns out um i think the colors go together great you can see everything that you needed to see and so now we're going to cut the vellum in the cardstock and we're going to do that together so we bring out the happy planner big punch and we line up the cards up. We just make sure it's lined up top and bottom, um, side to side. 
and because they are the exact same measurements so we just want them lined up and then we just give it a quick punch and we should be good to go all right i hope you have a wonderful day and um i'm sorry i'm not done i hope you enjoyed this project and we'll be on to the next one in just a couple of minutes Okay, I pulled the vellum out, and as you can see, I messed it up when I put it in the printer, and it curled and ripped, um, and then when you use a heavy color like this, you have to wait for it to dry, um, which I obviously didn't do. You can see everywhere I touch, and it's all over my fingers. So this piece of vellum is just a waste, but that's okay. Uh, it still gives you the um, idea. And then you would just cut around the vellum, or the picture rather, and it would fit um, right in your classic size planner. So you would just punch it and go. Um, yeah, so that should be about it. So there's the two vellums. Um, and the cardstock that I made, I think they both turned out really pretty other than me messing it up in the printer. Um, but I look forward to seeing the slow progress, the still progress in my big happy planner that I use for budgeting. I think that that pretty much says it all. Um, everything I do towards paying off my debt is going to be helpful. So... If you have any questions, please let me know, and I'd be happy to answer them. I really appreciate the feedback that I'm getting on my videos and the request to do this tutorial. Um, it was my pleasure. I would love to do more, anything that you guys would like to see. So just let me know, and we will work that out. So please like this with the thumbs up if you did enjoy it. Um, and again, just request anything you'd like to see. And if you haven't already, please do subscribe. Thank you.